Hey there, today I'm gonna show you how I'll be sculpting a face on this little witch that we have in our contest witch kit. This is an excellent project, super fun to do. And I'm excited to show you just how I do this. So here's the basic kit that will make your witch spoon doll. And I take this idea from Jill Willick. She's given me permission to have her instructions on my websites and uh, to teach people how to do this method. In our kit we've got an armature, an armature body, a wooden spoon, and then one of these resin guides. This is basically just as a sculpting reference for you so it'll be easier for you to sculpt. Um, they come in various colors and we've got a little bit of translucent clay if we want to do the teeth or fingernails and then some ProSculpt clay and you can use either the baby or the flesh for this. Those are the best colors for this project. So let's get started. To guide me through the sculpting process, I'm gonna use the online class that I've set up for you. This online course will show you how to, to get through the process of sculpting the doll head. And this is actually a tutorial that Jill put together. And so our first step here is to just put some of the clay on the wooden spoon. Also your spoon, you'll wanna decide how big you want it. And the way that Jill teaches here, she doesn't use another armature besides just the spoon, but we'll be using one of Jack's art doll's armatures as well because it'll make the process even more simple. But you'll still want to probably trim down your wooden spoon. I'll probably trim mine to about here, so it's only about four inches from the base of the spoon. So for the first step, I'm gonna take a ball of clay. It's about this size. Just roll it in my hands about a good inch of ball of clay. Then I'm just going to press it into the wooden spoon, just like that. And then I'm also going to kind of lift this up afterwards and use a little bit of this crazy glue. Just any super glue is fine. You could even use liquid Sculpey just to help this kind of adhere a little bit more to the wood. You can also kind of curve it around the edges of the spoon too. Lift up the bottom and repeat. You could also coat your wooden spoon with liquid Sculpey and then zap that with your heat gun a little bit too. And then put a little bit more of the liquid Sculpey on it just um, that's wet and then put your clay on. That would work just as well to get better adherence to the wood, but here's what you want to start with. I'm gonna bring mine over the edges just a little bit so it's holding on to the wood. All right, and then next I'm gonna score in some lines just to keep us centered with our face. I'm using one of the flat metal tools. You could also use your Johnston 3-in-1 sculpting tool to just make some score lines so you can keep yourself centered. So I've got down the middle and then across the middle, a place for the eyes, about to where the nose goes and where, where the lips begin. And then my next step is going to be to add in these eyes. I love these green glass ones, they're so cute. I just wanna make sure that they're level and get them pressed in pretty well. And then we're gonna put a snake of clay around each of them to secure them in place. All right, so the next step is to make sure the eyes are level. And then what I'm gonna do is take up this little snake of clay. I made a longer snake so all the clay would be the same thickness. And I'm gonna just wrap it around. tops and bottoms of these eyes here. Making sure I'm pressing it into the clay below so it's going to adhere well. There, so it's looking more like that. And then I'm going to press I'm going to smooth this down. 
so it's almost more like a flat tube. And then I'll finish smoothing in a bit with my Johnson 3-in-1 tool. Now, all of these tools can be found at artdolls.com. Then I've rolled another snake that's about, oh, maybe 3 8 inch in girth. And I'm going to be putting in some of the brow here. Just like this. And then also underneath where it will act more like a, a cheekbone. Start building up the face. I'll just repeat that for the other side. All right, so this is what we've got so far. Just have the two tubes on both sides. I noticed on Jill's tutorial, she doesn't have a meat in the center, but then she just puts a nose over it anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about my meeting there. I think that's gonna work out well. So the next step is going to be to add in the nose. But first I'm going to kind of smooth these in a bit and make sure I've got really good adherence with the clay. And rather than having it be lumpy like that, I'm just going to make it nice and smooth. So that'll take just a few minutes. So I do have another roll of clay that's about the same size as the one I used for the eyes and cheeks. And I'm just going to add it in See the nose is gonna go, put it about right here. And this is gonna be the bottom lip. And for the moment, I'm gonna let this stay on the side in case I want a bigger smile or the face to go out more. I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. So that's where we're at right now. So I've just added another tube right here. That's gonna be clay for the upper lip, clay for the lower lip, and then I'm gonna try a band of teeth. I'll sculpt the teeth on a toilet paper roll so it'll be rounded, and then it'll be like some dentures that I can just stick right in there. And so I'm gonna sculpt the teeth and then bake them also. 